Hi, I'm Matt Weston. This is Emmanuel Songsori. Welcome to Swamp Songs. Today we are going to look at five ways to mic a grand piano. Swamp Songs. Swamp songs. So joining me today is Emmanuel Songsori. He's a hobbyist musician, an excellent piano player, and you can find his music at esongsori.com. Okay, so you've met our piano player, Emmanuel. Our piano is a 1970 Yamaha G1. This was purchased from DNS Pianos in Kamoka. They're a great store, I recommend you check them out. And it was just tuned a couple days ago by Daryl. So the first mic technique I'm going to show you is what I call the Grant Avenue Studios method. Grant Avenue Studios is a great studio in Hamilton and they've got a couple Neumann KM86s mounted to the frame of the piano for quick access and recording. I'm going to use a couple of Neumann TLM 103s for this mic technique. The second is what I'm going to call the Johnny Bartell. Johnny was a friend of mine from OERT and has since made some great records, including a Juno winning record with Sammy Jackson. This technique involves a pair of AKG C451s in an NOS pattern above the hammers, as well as a large diaphragm condenser underneath. For the condenser, I'm using a Peluso P12. The third technique I'm going to show you is what I'm going to call the Daniel Lanois. So I mentioned the Grant Avenue Studios technique I showed you earlier. Well, I happened to spend a day there with Dan Lanois and he was getting a little fed up with uh, some noise coming from those condensers. It might've been a bad cable or something. Sometimes phantom power can do some weird things with mics. So anyway, he said, give me a 57 and a tea towel and I'll show you where to put it. And so that is the Dan Lanois technique of the 57 sitting on the frame. The fourth technique is just a mono Royer R121 ribbon microphone above the hammers, kind of at the same height as the Johnny Bartel technique. And the last technique is, of course, the Al Schmidt. Now Al Schmidt would use a pair of Neumann M149s above the low and high hammers. I don't have a pair of M149s, unfortunately. They're a little out of my price range, but we'll use a pair of Neumann TLM 103s for that technique. So I hope you enjoy this. Emmanuel, ready to get started? Ready. All right, let's do it. So it's actually been a few weeks since we recorded the piano parts, and we're going to dive into Pro Tools and have a look at those now. The first thing you'll notice is that we've got two groups here. The first being the first four mics all recorded together. And because I use the TLM 103s for both the Grant Ave and the Al Schmidt, then we have a second group over here where we've got the Al Schmidt instead of the Grant Avenue Studios. So we'll start with the stereo pairs first and the more hi-fi mics, and then we'll move on to the dynamic mics, the mono ones. So here we go with Grant Ave.
Okay, now the Johnny Bartel. Now this one with the underside mic, I'm going to uh, adjust the volume a little bit until I find what I think is a good balance between the top pencil condensers and the large diaphragm condenser underneath. Here's just the pencils on their own. And just the underneath. Let's move over to the Al Schmidt setup. Okay, and the mono ribbon. So this might actually make a cool mic to combine with either the Al Schmidt or perhaps the Johnny Bartel. So let's do that now. Let's go with the Al Schmidt now. Kind of neat. So some of these combinations could work together. 
Uh, though I wouldn't recommend doing all of them together as there'd just be so many phase issues. Let's have a listen to the Dan Lanois. So I think most people are generally surprised when they hear this mic because they didn't think it would get the whole piano in there. But as you can hear, it's fairly even. And I've actually used this myself when recording the Thames Valley District School Board's Honor Jazz Band led by my friend Seth McNall. Uh, it's a big band, five saxes, four trumpets, four trombones and rhythm section. And so when you're short on inputs, this and and you're dealing with leakage this can be a good thing to do uh, you can put that 57 in there close the lid on the piano and uh, get a pretty decent piano sound to go with the band So I want to thank Emmanuel Songsori for coming in and playing today. Again, you can find his music at esongsori.com. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching. This is Swamp Songs. I'm Matt Weston. Take care. Swamp Songs.